Hey everyone, it is Taste Taste from Bloody Kittens, and in this week in tournaments that was, we're gonna talk about some Death Guard right after this quick intro. Hello and welcome back to the week that was in warmer 40k tournaments where we speed through some of the winning lists from the previous weekend. Last weekend saw four large events with at least five rounds and 28 players with one major event. The Eldari nabbed five of the top 12 podiums, but this should be the last week we have to deal with a certain army list dominating. And we might have gotten a little preview of what to expect, at least until the Tyranids devour us all. Now let's take a quick sample look at some of the lists from the four big tournaments from the last weekend. First up, the Gravel Pit GT that had a snapshot of just how big a difference the new Armor of Contempt rule could possibly be. Aiden Smalley's Death Guard nabbed first place thanks to, of all things, Rhinos and a large amount of unmovable board control units Death Guard can now bring. Aiden had a very interesting path to first place, beating not one, but two World Eaters Chaos Space Marine lists to start off. Then he beat Meta Tau, followed by Meta Custodes, and finally won against Mixed Youthway Eldari. Next up, and back to old rules, is the Firebug Alliance Open Major Event. Mario Holtich's Eldari is a great example of what we cannot expect to see make it through the balanced data sheet moving forward, with both Harlequins and indirect weapons being nerfed. Mario went 5-0, but because the event didn't have a sixth game to at least try and get a true winner, he ended up with third place just on points. Mario beat Scorpius Chaos Space Marines, Drukhari Thick City, Meta Custodes, Gene Sir Cults, and finally, Meta Harlequins. Moving on to the West Coast GT, we saw Olaf Stevenson's Tau go 5-1 for second place, with a list that continues the move away from double three-man broadsides and just replaces them with more crisis suits. Olaf's games were against Nightbringer Necrons, Hammerhead Tau, he lost to the first place winner, Meta Harlequins, Space Wolves, sort of a Tau mirror match, and finally beat Mechanized Eldar. Last, we have the Confrontation Redemption number two, where Tom Green's Custodes won this event. Now take a good look at this list, because it really should be the last time we see its kind make any sort of run to the top spot. Tom's list went heavy and on jet bikes, with one Don Eagle captain and your usual 3x3 Praetor's jet bikes. Tom went 4-1 and one and pulled off the rare first place showing even while losing his last game. He defeated the following armies, Ultramarines, Veteran, Admech, Mixed Orcs, Aspect Warrior, Eldar, and lost the second place Meta Tau Finisher. Well, that will do it for this week. Thanks for watching, and hopefully the next couple weeks we'll see some fun new armies rise to the top as people adjust to the new meta. Don't forget though, if you want to see the rest of the top three lists in detail, you have to click on the links in the description below. And as always, if you like this content, please leave a comment, subscribe, ring that bell, and also hit that thumbs up button. Thanks, guys.